Welcome and hello to everyone out there and welcome to our broadcast today. I have Neo Anderson from Light in the Darkness on the other side here and we're going to be discussing today a little bit of light and darkness. We just we really don't have a set topic to talk about, but this is what we want to do is to go back and forth with each other cuz uh I've known Neo for God knows how long how many years now. And we have followed each other spiritually in different routes. And you, if, if you go to his channel, you'll hear some of his journey. But uh, Neil, how are you doing today, brother? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, he's. I'm glad that I'm. I'm yeah. very glad that I'm here with you today. Thank God. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank and, you, the Creator. <laughs> and you're and you're on the other side of the world from me. That's what makes it so cool. We've known each other yeah. for a long time, and we live in different worlds, basically. Uh, One's in Europe and one's in America, and we just really have been uh, seeking truth for a long time. We've all gone through the major religions, basically, and uh, what we both have found out is with and within each of the and with each of the religions, we have truth and untruth in all of them. And one thing that Neo does so well within these books is finding the light and the darkness in these books. And uh, I guess that's a good place to start, Neo. Is how did you get to this point? to where you realize that these books have both light and darkness and the dogma is the trap. And from there, how do we free ourselves? Yes, good question. So uh, it start uh, from back in the day when I was a uh, seven day Adventist. Uh, actually, I was a little kid when my dad used to go to these Jehovah Witnesses uh, congregations. And uh, he had these books and people uh, visit him all the time. Uh, they spoke about, uh, they call it Jehovah, you know, and they speak, they spoke about uh, God and, and, you know, the creator. They had these interesting books with, uh, you know, pictures and so on. And I was, you know, I was interested to hear, I don't know why. Always, uh, I was there, you know, with them, uh, trying to understand what they are speaking. You know, I had questions. I, you know, as a little boy, I was asking the question, you know. But then again, my father, he never, you know, baptized because he was smoking, and they, you know, they don't want this. They have they their rules. You know, you you cannot smoke and became a Jehovah Witnesses. But, you know, uh, after it, um, I was in one place with one another guy and he was a Seventh-day Adventist. And when he heard that I was interesting in, interested in Jehovah Witnesses, you know, uh, he said to me, you know, are you Jehovah Witness? I said, not yet, but I'm interested in, interested in this, you know, uh, I want to learn and so on. I know some stuff, you know. Uh, I think that this is the 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 uh, you know way for me the the right way, and then he uh, start asking me some questions. You know, uh, of course he denied uh, the unity, the you know the monetism, and he start uh, asking start asking me questions about First uh, John. You know, in the beginning was the word, <laughs> and the word was with God, and God was born. And he asked me, how do you understand this? How, you know, you say that Jesus is not God and we read here that he is God. So it was for me strange. I didn't know uh, so much. So I was confused. And then he asked me, do you keep uh, the Ten Commandments? You know, I said, yes, we keep, you know, Jehovah Witnesses also recognize uh, Ten Commandments in the Torah. And then he asked me, what is the fourth commandment, you know? And of course, remember the seventh day, you know, remember the <laughs> Sabbath. And he asked me, do you keep this day, you know? I said, no, because they say that it is for the Jews, you know? So he, he said, it is funny because the first commandment is actually uh, about uh, God, uh, you know, 
taking out uh, sons of Israel, you know, redeem them. And, uh, you know, uh, he's Yahweh, you know, uh, the first commandment is I'm Yahweh, your God, that, you know, took you out from Egypt, don't have any other gods beside me. So why do you then believe in this commandment? You know, why do you keep this command? It is for the Jews. You read it. <laughs> That's good. And I said, yes, it is good. And I said, yes, he have right. You know, and then I will start to studying those stuff, you know, and I never could agree with Trinity, you know, just that I, I couldn't agree with this, you know, it had so many holes there right. in that, you know, theology. So, but I, I, I said, you know, there is only one, I didn't know that there are, there are different, you know, uh, denominations that keep this day. I thought that only seven day Adventists, uh, you know, keep those the uh, the Sabbath. So I said, okay, I will, you know, I will start studying this uh, community. I I want to go there. So I find find that found that that guy again, and I said, okay, let me go to your your church. You know, I want to know more about this. You know, and then after some time, I you know converted there. I baptized, and I became a seven day Adventist. You know. And after some years of studying, you know, because I can not only, uh, you know, stay uh, without reading, without, uh, you know, taking knowledge. Uh, so I want to study for myself. I don't want to believe and somebody say to me, you know, this is how it is. I want to know for myself, you know, I want to study. I want to check the stuff. And the... Uh, after it, I find out that, uh, you know, the chapter, the, the verse that they uh, take to defend their theology, uh, it is actually in Isaiah, Yeshayahu, the prophet Isaiah. And it is the verse that says, uh, from, the sab uh, from the new moon to the new moon and from the Sabbath to the Sabbath, you know, all flesh will come before me to bow down, you know, to worship me. And I said, okay, you take this verse to defend the Sabbath. And what is about the new moon? You know, it is the same. He didn't divide the new moon from the Sabbath, you know? Right. So I was checking some stuff on forum there on, in, on internet. Uh, and, then I, and then I find out about other people that are thinking like me, uh, you know, uh, that was uh, Messianic Jews those guys are very interesting they also uh were speaking about monetism and so on so i start you know i i find another guy from messianic so i uh study with him and then i actually became a messianic you know i didn't convert and so i just uh, lived this congregation seven day adventist i said okay this is not for me i'm sorry guys you know i just uh, I don't find anymore that this is satisfaction for me. Uh, satisfactionary true. It is not the true that I see it is a true. And of course they were they were angry. They were you know they. But it is another topic. And then when I <laughs> yes, and then when I became a messianic, we were studying every Sabbath. You know, I would start keeping those feast days, and you know we were reading the prophet and the Torah. And then we find out that, you know, New Testament have some holes, you know. It ended in a way that we lived, ever, we lived Jesus. We said, okay, Jesus is not the Messiah, you know. And then where we need to go now, you know. After it, I said, okay, the only thing where I can go is Judaism. Because <laughs> it is the, the source of those stuff, you know, that we learn. And uh, of course, I was preparing myself for Gure. I was not high sometimes. And then I had one strange dream. I was, I have my, one group there on Facebook, and I was always against those Muslims, you know. I was actually, you know, uh, fighting with them. I didn't like them. I never studied the Quran, I never read the Quran, you know. And one day, one night, I was having one dream about the Quran, you know, uh, one voice say to me, you know, uh, 
it was a cup of coffee, you know, and you know when when you drink the coffee and then uh, stay those uh, the, the black things, you know, like like symbols, uh, you know, the witches. I think they are reading those signs, and then one voice, I think it is from the right side. It said to me, you know what, uh, read these signs, you know, for me. And then I, I wanted to say, okay, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm not involving myself in this stuff. You know, I don't know this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. And when I turned my head to see the, this cup of coffee, it was not anymore the cup of coffee. It was now the book, you know? Wow. And it was the Quran. And, and all those letters were written in gold, you know? And then again, that voice said to me, read it. And I said, I don't know Arabic, you know? And one and and now I see one guy that I know. It was my uh, cousin, and I know that he speak Arabic. I know that he is a Muslim. And then he said, "You don't know, but I know." And then start to saying to me some stuff, you know. And when I woke up, when I woke up, I said, "Okay, what is the, <laughs> now this?" You know. And then suddenly <laughs> I was interested in this book, you know. Right. So I. I buy this book. No, I, I, I get it from one guy and I will start reading it. And then it was fabulous to, to, to see that uh, there are similar things from the Torah, from the Bible, you know. It was actually what I always uh, like. For example, I always love this prayer with bow, bowing down, you know, prostration, you know, because I was reading this in Bible, you know. Solomon that uh, did it, uh, David did it, you know, all of those guys did it. So I always ask myself uh, and, and the people around me that, that uh, are religious, I said, okay, why we don't uh, worship God in the way that it is described in the Bible, in the Torah, in the Tanakh? Also in New Testament, we see Jesus go there a little bit uh, far, far away, I don't know how uh, how long how uh, um, how do you say I don't know how much he he was going away from disciples and then he was bowing down worship the Creator you know but they they only said you know what it is that that is that you can forget this it is in Old Testament and so on and Jesus did only this for the Jews because of the Jews you know I said okay. But of course, it it all, always it was always in my head, you know. And when I saw this stuff in in the Quran, for me, it is it was very very interesting, you know. And uh, after it, I decide to you know because I was reading, I was studying. I like those stuff in the Quran, you know. It was for me, it was like a balance, you know. You don't need to because in the Quran you don't have, for example. Uh, you know, Jesus fulfilled this prophecy from Isaiah uh, uh, chapter 7, uh, verse 14, you know, uh, virgin, you know, uh, we know that it is not the virgin, you know. Right. And you don't have this in the Quran. And, and you don't have that he is God, you know. You don't have these problems that you have there in New Testament, you know. And, and you know, you believe in one creator. You do the good deeds, you know. Uh, give a little bit uh, of from your uh, money to the poor, you know, uh, prostration, you know, uh, you wash your body before you pray, or you, you give respect to, to the creator. It was, for me, it was acceptable in that time, you know, it right. was good stuff, you know. So I accepted, I, I converted there. And I didn't know that they also have some problems, you know, between themselves. There are there are many branch there are branches you know in Islam. You know you have uh, for example you have Sunni Muslims and you have Shia Muslims, you know, and also in the Sunni Muslims you have uh, four uh, schools, you know, uh, and uh, they accept all four, but you know uh, they don't do the same stuff. For example, you know, so it was for me politic, you know. And also, I find out uh, that they take uh, 
other books, you know, for their source of uh, religious beliefs, you know, these hadiths. And of course, I'm a reasonable guy. I want to think with my mind, you know, with my head, because uh, all, all, all around the Quran, you will find God says, oh, you who have reason, you know. So he speak to the reasonable being. He wants you to think. He wants you to 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 uh, use your head, you know, not like an animal, you know. So uh, those hadiths for me, uh, it was you read there something that you cannot read in the Quran, and not only that, they make uh, their prophet to be, you know, a pedophile. Uh, war criminal and i don't know what you know and you don't have this in the quran uh also they ignore some verses you know uh for example you have uh, uh, in chapter two from the quran uh 190 verse verse 190 it says you know fight with those that fight you you know but don't start the battle you know Allah doesn't like those that uh, make violence, you know, that they attack first, you know. And then they actually, they, they believe in abrogation. Uh, uh, they believe that the verses that came uh, before are abrogated with the verses that came after. So in Mecca, verses in Mecca uh, are abrogated with verses in Medina, you know. For example, alcohol, you know, uh, the first, uh, it was, uh, you know, you can even pray, you know, if you take a couple of drinks, but when you know what you are speaking, you know, you can even pray, you know, but then after it, you know, we read that, you know, uh, the vine, the, the, you know, uh, the other things also are, you know, uh, did from shaitan. So don't do this, you know. It is not actually like a commandment, but it says that it is a deed of shaitan, and of course it cannot be good, you know. So I saw, uh, after it, I saw that, you know, there in, in all of those books, you know, because if, if you are in one religion, you know, you don't see this stuff. You see in other people's books problems. And I, I wanted, because... It was terrible to see how, you know, when they attack your book, you know, when it, it is no problem when you attack uh, other people's books. But when they attack your books, you see that it is not good. It is wrong. And also you, you can see that there is there are also problems in your book, not only in their book. So then I start to searching, you know, I didn't want to ask people that belong to that religion. I want to read those people that are not religious, you know, that are atheist. I want to see how they understand those books, what things they find are that are contradicting, you know, other things in the books. So I saw that they're actually, you know, one in another way, you know. It is not the same, and that that is why uh, people are dividing uh, between themselves. You know, they are they are divided because one guy take this verse for authority, and other guy take that verse for authority, and they they try to combine these. They don't want to say, okay, I don't accept this because because it is contradicting this. Because, for example, uh, look at the John uh, John. Uh, 2017 uh, john 2017 it says you know don't touch me because i'm going to the father you know i'm going to uh, but uh tell to my disciple to my brothers you know it specifically say to my brothers i'm going to my father and to their father to my god and to their god you know and we read now that he is not god mm -hmm. And then we read in first john it is the same book the same book first john it says you know in the beginning one was the word and the word was with the god and god was word right. and now you need to combine this to you know somehow somehow to make peace between these verses and you cannot do this you know you can never do this you, uh, you will be 
for example, uh, uh, Jehovah Witness that will believe in this verse for, from John 20, 17, or you will be uh, Trinitarian that will believe, you know, uh, 1 John. And it, this, that, that will be your base, you know, your ground. And this is what I what I saw that all books uh, have two ways, and uh, then I find out that in the Quran there is actually very very nice verse, uh, and it says you know there were there was no prophet or or messenger when when they you know uh, recited you know that uh, uh, Satan. So you know what is the meaning of Satan, the one that is in opposition, you know, so that Satan didn't put something, you know, in those recitation, you know. And uh, uh, God allowed, then another verse explained that God allowed this, you know, because there are people that uh, search for this stuff, you know, with corrupted heart. So this is the first uh, station. This is the first point where, where I, uh, you know, uh, I need now to understand that there is, you know, that there is no perfect thing here, that there is no perfect book, you know, that you will always find some stuff there and that you need to be clever and you need to search the light in the darkness, you know. And uh, for me, you know, uh, there is, um, you know, I think that a cousin of uh, Mohammed said, you know, it is not important, you know, who wrote but what was written right. or who said but what was said and i always you know say it is not important who wrote who wrote but what was written and and this actually uh, you know uh, uh, opened the door for me B because before i didn't read other books and then i was starting to read uh, other books uh, and I I don't care if those books are, are channeled, you know. Many people will say, okay, be careful, don't go there, you know. Uh, it is all from Satan, <laughs> you know. <laughs> of course. But, for example, a current gospel is fabulous, you know. Yes. When you read a current gospel, it's excellent stuff. You can find, it doesn't important if this is, you know, uh, from uh, some guy that was, uh, you know, channeling or or he's he invented this stuff what is important is that there is there good message for you you know in the end of the day we need to be good people you know and all of those stuff the knowledge that we spoke about this you know you and i on messenger the knowledge is not only in the book and what i what i think when i say the book i think that you know this is the knowledge somebody wrote it doesn't mean that the guy that had this experience for, wrote it, but you know, you can say, uh, for example, Mike, you can have one experience, you right. know, and you, you are now enlightened. Your chakra are open, you know, all, all of those chakras. And then you say to me something, you know, and I remember this and I, after it, I put this on paper, you know, and I said, Mike, say, Mike, so, the vision and he received this stuff you know in i think it is very good to keep those stuff you know right and now for the the people that read this they don't need to take everything from this but if that is the good stuff there they can build upon their knowledge you know and this right. knowledge you don't you know there is also one thing that ali this guy ali actually is a very nice guy you know very clever guy and he said search the knowledge even to the china <laughs> even in china you know <laughs> so that doesn't matter if this is on sky you can learn from sky learn it you can learn from your body actually a current gospel say learn from from your body it does say that yes if you ask me what to study i will tell you study yourself your body and again if you ask me what to study i will say to you again study your body <laughs> <laughs> So this is my journey, and uh, if you have some question, it will be nice. Well, I, I want to kind of yeah. confirm. What, I want to confirm some of the things that you're saying because you're talking about how uh, Islam has different, you know, sex and understanding. All of them do. Judaism, you can't find two Jews to agree. You won't find two Christians to agree because everybody has their different positions. But really, the Quran 
I was in a group years ago that was called Quran without the Hadiths. And I learned so much from those people because you start finding out that what we know is modern day uh, Muslims or Islam, and I'm not putting them down in any way, uh, is not actually what the Quran teaches, that there's a lot of additions to that just within the Talmud, within Judaism and traditions with Christianity, is if you want to know the truth, you really have to go to the source and cut off the dogma to truly right. understand what you're reading. And you did, I'm surprised you didn't bring the Coburn Bible up. I am so surprised. No, no, I, am very, I, 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 I only, I only cut myself to, to hear your, your, your opinion and, and your <laughs> position on this. But I spoke. Uh, but then I, uh, not, I don't want only to mention the Coburn Bible. That is excellent book. Uh, I, I, you know, there are favorite books. Uh, uh, you know, for me. Uh, and those are the Colbrin Bible first, and then there, there, are, there is also a current gospel. Yes. And you know, of course, the the Book of Enoch. I also like the, that book. And uh, you know, uh, there is also one another book. And you know, people people don't like that book because I think that it is even said there that the the Satan wrote it. You know, but it is actually good thing there. You can find good stuff there. Uh, and it is called, uh, you know, Toward the Light. Toward yeah, the Light. Love it. Yes, it is a very nice book. I even copied for myself. <laughs> it is a nice book. But uh, no, of course, people don't want to, to read this. Yeah. Uh, but because they live in a box, I, I can understand this, you know. Right. And uh, there is also one another book, and, and it is called Oaspe. And what I like in this book is actually one verse that say, you know, uh, I gave you all of those books, you know, but if you don't judge them, you will be caught in a trap. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's correct. <laughs> Very nice stuff. I, lo yes. I love this. You know, I love yes. it. <laughs> you know, and, you know, uh, I always, you know, and, and this, this stuff I actually fi find out uh, also in Colburn. There is also a verse in Colburn that says, you know, uh, like this, uh, you you need to you need to be careful. You know, if uh, one stuff contradict other stuff, you, you take the stuff that is more reasonable for you. You know, right? So it actually, you know, uh, it, it um, admit you know that there are actually darkness. You know, in those in those books. You right. know, and then. Uh, uh, it points you to the right direction. It says, okay, you know, there are those stuff, you know, but skip it. Right. Take what is good for you, for your journey. Y you know, it, it is very important to know that that what you take for yourself doesn't mean that it is, uh, you know, the ultimate true and all other need to be uh, converted to your true and to think like you right that that would be selfish you know and this is ego and we don't want uh this you know ego we don't want to be there you know no no so uh for me i just want to to be better person you know if one book will help me to be a better person i will you know i am coming to this uh you know stage in my life that i you know, uh, uh, I don't care what I will follow. I just care that that what I follow, you know, uh, can lead me to be a better person, you know, to open my chakras, you know, to right. be good for my family first, then for my neighbors, you know. And I don't care if, you know, uh, like you said, you know, there are people there in North nordic place where you know they don't have seasons they don't have uh, those stuff they cannot keep those feasts you know they can keep it but they will not have uh, you know uh, summer you know uh, spring you know and you will need to have a passover in the spring you know right. so it doesn't matter what you keep you know if this is what you think it is good for you for your family that will bring some fruits good fruits so keep 
And this is actually what was uh, written in the Colburn, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, because you remember that quote about that, about <laughs> you're not doing it unto me. It's basically for you that don't say that you're doing it to for me, talking about the creator. You're doing it for yourself to, to elevate yourself. I can't remember that quote in there. It's a long quote. Yes, right? yes. Excellent quote. I have it here on, on my phone, and I don't know if I can just go – and open it and and read it. I don't know if I can put it here, right? So we can read it. Is that possible? Maybe I Is have this no idea. I believe you should be able to to ex. I mean, because you're not exiting the app. You're just leaving your phone to another display. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Let's see if he comes back here. So we'll give him a few minutes, and uh, if he comes back, I'm sure he'll bring it back here. But here he is right here. Hear me. Now you're back. We see you. I am back. I'm sorry. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> I told him what probably happened. I was telling him what probably happened. Uh, okay. This was wrong. So I don't know. I, I don't know how you can do this. Well, maybe it'll be another video we can do. Let me Let me try. Another one thing, if I'm going out, I will come again. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's good. Okay. So. But what he's saying is actually true is the fact is, is, you know, um, the, there's, there's fruit, there's fruit in all of these books. There's fruit in nature. You can learn from all of these things. Like he said, there's fruit from your own self, your own life of how you look at yourself, what you eat, how your body processes it, how do you feel after certain things. All of this helps you elevate and open those chakras within you. Uh, that's one thing I like about uh, Kabbalah. I love about uh, North mythology. I love about a lot of these things because if you understand North mythology, it's the climbing of uh, the tree of life, basically, up to the top, like Odin did. And it's a spiritual journey. And these these things are so important. It's not for everybody. So that's why I believe there's different paths to help you on your way to put yourself where you need to be uh, on the path you need to be on and not the path that I'm on or that Neo's on, but something that will help elevate you. And, and as he said at the end of the day, just make you a better person, just make you more friendlier to the world and to help the needy. And, and these are simple things that we make so complicated in life. And I think this is one thing the scripture in the Torah actually teaches is is, you know, it said that if people are not kind to you, be kind to them. Now, I know there's people saying be kind to everybody no matter what. But the fact of the matter is, is, is you show grace and mercy where there's grace and mercy given. And that's what we need to be learning. Now, you should be an example at all times, but give everybody a chance. But uh, he'll be finding this. This is this is an important verse that he's looking up. And uh, we definitely need to hear it. Uh, from the Coburn Bible, which is an excellent Bible. Also, we're discovering some of the Sikh knowledge also, Sikhism. Uh, and I found out from some of my Sikh uh, people that I've studied on uh, YouTube that Sikh's not so much a definition of religion. Sikhism means seeker of knowledge. So that if you're seeking knowledge to them, you're a Sikh. Now, not within the religion, of course, not wearing the turban and stuff like that. But I do love their knowledge, and I love the knowledge of the Kabbalah. I love the knowledge of uh, uh, so many different spiritual aspects out there. Uh, so Gnosticism, um, I, I love a lot of this stuff. Uh, Hinduism. Here we go. He's back. Yeah, yeah I'm here. Uh, uh, can you read this? Uh, what I put on chat? Uh, let me let me go to chat. Let me find where chat is. Chat. Yes, chat. <laughs> where is it at? Uh, no, 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 no. no. Somewhere there uh, at the bottom, where is your mic? Oh, Come. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, invite settings, stop camera, mute. Uh, get back up here. Uh, I don't have the chat, I don't see the chat because it says uh, chat with everyone in studio. So, uh, you should be, you should be, uh, you should be able to, to, to read I have, this. I have comments. Um, but comments, I, I cannot do anything there, you know. I right. can do only on chat. Hmm. I, I, I don't see it on my end. I mean, I'm sure it's here. I'm just not seeing it. Too bad. Yes. 
because Ooh. there we are. You'll find uh, it. I have chat, but I don't have nothing sent to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't have idea how I can put yeah. this. Well, just just kind of put it in your words, and we we can do another video describing it. Okay, in no problem, no yeah. problem, because because my my English is not so good, uh, and it's some okay. stuff I can read, uh, right. I can read, but you, I I think that you will not understand. Uh, right. Anyway, it says like this, you know, it says uh, the Rick. What is the Rick? I don't have idea, but it says the Rick of your instance smoke rises and disappears into the air. But it comes not unto me, nor do I have need of it. So you see, it's it's somehow point to that uh, stuff in uh, from the Torah, you know, yes. where those instances and smoke, you know, uh, from the aroma, you know, go to the nose of God and he smell it, you know, nice aroma. Right. And, you know, it explained that it doesn't go to the creator. Right. And you, you have also this in the Quran about the sacrifice, about the blood. And he said, you know, uh, you know, that 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 what you kill your your animal blood and flesh doesn't came to the creator. But what came but what go to the creator is your good deed that you made. So you feed the poor with this, you know, and this is what go to the creator. So, you know, intention. I love that. I love. That. Yeah. And then it says, yet I will not deny. You see? I will not deny you the pleasure of it of its fragrance, which can right, bring right. inner harmony and peace right. by stirring the spirits of men. Nor will I deny you your fists, if the fetters of wickedness by thereby loosened from your soul. So, in other in other words, if this is what makes you good and and close to the Creator. Yes. Do this stuff, you yes. know, no problems, you know. Yes. But do not say that they are undertaken for my benefit of glorification. Right. <laughs> I love that. I love that because that means, like you said a while ago, the prostrate prayer means a lot to you. you if, and that edifies you and elevates you. You need to do that. But you're in understanding you're doing it for yourself. To help yes. you, that is awesome. I like that. Yes. And then it's cool to say uh, about fasting. And then he say, he says, fasting and the denial of bodily appetites may yes. serve useful ends for men, but thoughts you may deceive yourself regarding their intent. Right. Do not try to deceive me by mistaking uh, their purpose. Right. I have no desire to repress the joy and exuberance that I don't know what it's been uh, welling up in the hearts of men. Right. Far rather would I prefer that such uh, humanizing emotion be cultivated. Therefore, right. pray if prayer serves its true purpose, which is to harmonize your spirit with mine so communication becomes possible. Right. That's <laughs> awesome. That yes. is awesome. Excellent stuff. Uh, that this is this is why I say always, you know, go read other stuff. You know, right. there. This is that knowledge that people receive that they take took from their experience. You know, there is even uh, in Colburn, it even uh, go to to explain how some people go in caves. You know, they were you know uh, they denied food and everything only to 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 um you know build this connection with the creator you know right right and this is nice stuff you know right i agree and uh i think this will probably be a good point to start slowing down we are way we're we're in a good time limit here i think and today's purpose of this show is to introduce you to neo and we will be doing a lot of work together here on tiktok and when we upload this video to my channel in his channel we will provide the links to both of our TikToks and uh, channels so that we can get you on board. I think there's a lot of people out there that are discouraged. There's a lot of people that are angry at their religion. And unfortunately, they're turning to atheism and, and agnostics and stuff like that. And you don't have to. The thing is, is it would be so me and Neo have said so many times it would be so easy. Just say, I'm atheist. Forget it. But it's not in my DNA and my purpose to just give up. 
because I think the search is part of the journey. What do you think about that, Neo? Yes, this this is the message that I always, you know, share with other people. Don't leave everything. Why? There are so many good stuff there. You can find for yourself to, you know, don't take everything that is there in the book. It not it is those stuff are not all for the guidance, you know. Right. There are stuff there, you know. Right. So judge like that book of Aspe said, judge those books, you know. That's right. Those are you know, those are you know uh, information that uh, that came from another source you know and you need actually to uh, how do you say to filterize to yes. filter out that yes. you know yes you got to have filter. discernment and and one thing you say all the time Neo, that resonates with me you got to have reasoning it's got to make sense it can't just be oh i believe this because of this there's got to be a reason behind what you're understanding yes Yes, there. I, like I said, there, there, there are things that you must believe. For example, right. like you know, uh, life after death, you will believe. Somebody will say, "Okay, there, there is judgment day." Somebody will say, "Okay, there, there is reincarnation." You know, right? You know? But we don't know. But you will believe it is up on you. But it is not important thing. What is important is that you, mm -hmm. you know, bring the good fruits in your community, in your society, in your family. First, in your family you know, with your neighbor and then, you know, in the community. And this is important stuff. I think, uh, you know, sometimes I, I think that, you know, we are sent here, you know, you know, to prepare ourselves for VIP, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so think like this, think well, like this and, 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 and live for it, you know, live for this fight with your, uh, you know, inner, inner self, you know that don't allow you to open your chakras this that's is very right. very important that's right and something else we talked about before we went live here on messenger earlier is and something neo brought up is we are living for death basically we know that the end is coming we know ragnarok we know the apocalypse within our own self right. is coming and the thing is is we must realize and uh just do the best we can with what we're doing now and like you said, don't give up the journey. Keep searching. Read something else. That's Neo's big thing. So, but I guess this is a good place to end because I'm getting phone calls. Oh, okay. from work. <laughs> okay. And I, I want to thank everybody for coming. And this is just one of many videos we're going to do. But I wanted to introduce you to Neo and introduce you to what we're going to be discussing. And this is what he discusses on his channel all the time. And uh, as you can tell, he has a real understanding of the Islamic Muslims thing. And the thing is, is that's where he does a lot of work with because he's bringing the light out of that. And I appreciate that. So, Neo, I thank you for your time. And uh, no problem, we look bro. Forward. yes, and we look forward to uh, uh, more coming on in the future. So we thank you so much. And until next time, blessings on you. Till next time. Peace yeah. to all. Yes. Ciao.